right, what you got, bro? Um, I was going to ask you about uh, Matthew 9, kind of some of the, in the middle, I guess more in the beginning of the chapter, he, he makes a few uh, analogies, Christ makes a, Jesus Christ makes a few analogies, and I was wondering, you know, what the, what's going on exactly there. The analogies he makes is uh, there in uh, verses 15, 16, and 17. He puts like three different analogies. Yeah, actually, the, the one in verse 15, it's, uh, you, you remember they were talking about the bridegroom holding John, you know? Mm -hmm. Talking about like the, the wedding terminology with the, uh, the Jews there. He says, uh, verse 14, then came to him. And can you close that door for me right there? Right there? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, just, I can hear their uh, blocks in there. Thank you. Then came to him the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast off with thy disciples? So, yeah, this is early. This is early in this ministry because they're still disciples of John. Mm -hmm. But thy disciples fast not. And he said unto them, Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. It's actually right off of what, what John was saying. He talks about uh, the friend of the bridegroom, right? Um, can the children of the bride chamber mourn? as long as the bridegroom is with them. So, um, and, and I'm sure it's some Jewish custom, but it talks about the children of the bride chamber mourning as long as the bridegroom is with them. But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and then shall they fast. I got I got a note here, chapter 16, verse 21. Let me see here real quick. Is Matthew? Yeah, Matthew 16, 21. So I'll put that there. Oh, okay. And from that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things. And, all right. So, he <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And, so that and would be when they would fast, right? After yeah. That. In other words, he's saying the days will come, the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and then they shall fast. So, uh, I'm, what what I'm what I'm getting there. They're, they have joy as long as the bridegroom is with them, right? Right. It says, why do you, the Pharisees fast off? Okay, so from verse 14, fasting, particularly with the Jews, it was a type of, it, it was associated with mourning, right? You know, they would, they would mourn, they would, like in the Old Testament, as they're mourning, uh, their, their ritual, their custom when they mourn is part of that is fasting, okay? Right. And, and like, so, he says, can the children of the bride chamber mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? As long as that bridegroom, I'm, I'm assuming, in, in, in my assumption is that it's the Messiah, right? The Lord's with them. As long as he's with them, they don't have a reason to be sad and mourn. Right. But he goes, the days will come. I got another one, uh, Matthew 17, 21. Look at Matthew 17, 21. The days will come. 17, 21. How did this kind go, uh, goeth not out but by prayer and fasting? Okay, special request, he will now uh, not be with them. Okay, I see what So basically, in both of these passages, he's talking about a time when he's with them versus a time when he's gone. By the way, it says taken from them. Mm -hmm. That That's definitely a, a relationship to him being uh, taken away by the authorities, crucified, and then he goes away. So... When the bridegroom shall, I'm back to chapter 9, verse 15. Okay, Rachel, we'll see. Bye-bye, bye-bye, Destiny. Thank you for spending time with Crazy Jada. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm just playing, little, little baby. Um, so, yeah, um, verse 15 of chapter 9. Can the children of the bride chamber more? And it, you know what, Ryan, it's probably, I bet if I research that out, like a lot of this stuff, there's Jewish customs and stuff, right, mm -hmm. uh, involved, you know. So it's obviously cultural customs about, they would have just understood exactly what it's talking about. So evidently, whatever this custom was, while the, while the bridegroom was with them, they're, they're not mourning, they're celebrating, as it were, right? They're rejoicing. Right. Can the children of the bride chamber mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them. So the bridegroom, evidently, is the Lord Jesus. They shall be taken from them. I'm thinking that has to be the time where he's um, taken in custody, what Luke calls his passion, all the stuff that happens. 
Um, and then eventually, it's death, burial, resurrection, and then gone away. And then they shall fast. Um, that's what I see is going on. I can, I can do more research on the bride chamber uh, custom, but mm -hmm. it seems like as long as the, the, he's with them, the, the disciples are joyful, right? Right, right. But once he goes, then they're, they, in fact, I can already see they're going to have a period of mourning and fasting, mm -hmm. or a period of mourning. So what about the next two? All right. Piece? No man put a piece of new cloth unto an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles. That's the third analogy. All right. So no man put a piece of new cloth unto an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment, and the rent is made worse. You know, I, I, my, I don't have, a, um, I didn't put any reference verses there, but as I look at that one, I think it has to do with the Pharisees. Look at verse 14. Then came to him the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast off but they decided? Whatever these customs, these religious customs that the Pharisees were doing, you know how they added to the law and stuff? Mm -hmm. No man put a, a piece of new cloth unto an old garment. There's another, there's another, um, it's either Mark, either Mark or Luke, where he, there's another, there's, there's a corresponding passage there. Put a piece of new cloth into an old garment. So, uh, it's like he's trying to, he's, he's trying to bring in a new, um, they, they're used to the status quo, right? Mm -hmm. They're used to, this, this is how the Pharisees uh, and the religious leaders have been doing things. Here's the Lord Jesus bringing what shouldn't be new to them, but because it's, it's really the, the, the purity of the law, right? But he's bringing a new, uh, a new dynamic into Israel. He's, he's giving them the truth. It seems like they're the old guard, right? Mm -hmm. and, and his ways are the new guard. And he's saying well, well, it won't fit, right? Even, fit. even uh, before explaining the analogy, I, I'm having trouble understanding what even the analogy oh, is saying in the first okay. place. It, is it saying it. that when you are sewing up like a, a oh, hole okay, in yeah. a garment that that you wouldn't take it from another garment because you got to rip it out of another garment and you ruin that garment to make another garment better? Or is, what oh, okay, that? I see what you're saying. Okay. What's no being man, said there? No man put up a piece of new cloth onto an old garment. Why? For that which is put in to fill it. So that will come from the piece of the new cloth, right? Right. Well, I guess... To fill it up, take it from the garment. Or, or not a new cloth, because he says no one does that. So it would be from another cloth. Oh, I see what you're saying. No man putteth a piece of new cloth unto an old garment. For that which is put in to fill it up, take it from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Because like I don't know, get, tell me if I'm getting this wrong, but what I see him saying is like, so if you got a garment with a hole in it, if you take it from another garment, you may fix that hole, but then the garment that you got it from is is now ruined. No I man know. put it a piece of new cloth. I don't get the analogy. No man put it a piece of new cloth, right? So they would never do this, right? Mm -hmm. Of new cloth unto an old garment. For that which is put in to fill it, take it from the garment. I see it like for that which is put in to fill it up. You know how I used to read that man is is I thought he was saying the reason they wouldn't put a new cloth into an old garment that the strength of the new would pull from the an old garment, what, what, so think about an old garment. It's kind of worn out, right? right it's right. worn out, it's more flimsy, the material and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, like this shirt, for example. If, if, if I wore and washed this for like 10 years, I could, let's say I got the exact same shirt. So I bought two shirts like this at once. One I didn't wear, one I wore mm -hmm. every day and washed every day. The same material. One's broken in. Yeah, up? one is broken in, and it's kind of flim The material becomes flimsy and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. It, it has more give. It has than, more give. Than new, right? So it seems like he's saying that if if you were to take this this tougher, the newer material, 
it would somehow, yeah, it's, it's a difficult one, you know, I don't mm -hmm. know. Maybe this was a custom of the Jews too, I gotta check it out. But it seems like he's saying, if you, if, if, you, if you try to put a new piece... Because it has no give, it's just going to end up ripping it's it. It's going to end up ripping it even more, yeah. All right, good. That's okay. what I see there, yeah. Because that's kind of the similar to the... I, under, I heard somebody talking about this concept in 17, that they would make these wine bottles out of leather. Yes, now that one, yeah. Right, and, mm -hmm. and so that you would put new wine into it, and as the wine fermented and, ex, and would... Uh, Expand the leather. Let's look at this one. Yeah, let's the, look at the, the new le leather yeah. would stretch with the wine, but the old what leather wouldn't stretch with the wine. So because it's, it's hard to crack, and it could burst. And it right? would break, right? So that's kind of a similar concept, I guess. What's going on with the verse uh, sixteen, right? Right. Let me look right. at seventeen. Neither do men. So yeah, they they similar, pretty parallel. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles. So think about these old leather bottles would be already. Kind of worn, you know how leather when it gets rough, right? Gets cr it cracks and, and it's hardened. Hardened, and stuff, yep. Right. And if you put a new wine, it probably would still be ferment, fermenting, right? right? So it's going to expand and burst it, and yeah. burst it, right? Else the bottles break and the wine runneth out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the bottles and perish. The bottles perish. And they but put, they new, put wine new wine into, into new bottles, bottles, and both are preserved, yeah. right? So that's what gives me the case. Obviously. He's talking about people there, right? Right. I can see. Well, you know, beyond beyond just the, what he's using as is the name. old the religious Pharisee exactly. guys, exactly, and the new they can't they can't bear to take it because they can't bear. You know, it's, it's funny because like I told you earlier, like religion politics, they're basically the same deal, right? A bunch of shysters, right? Mm. It's like this. Um, I, I hear this word thrown around about the establishment, right? Uh, one of the things Donald Trump is running into. The establishment been doing it this way, right? Mm -hmm. The grand old party, GOP, they've been doing it this way. And he's coming and he's like, he's coming, he's coming up. And they're accusing him like, hey, this is the way we've been doing it, right? We don't mm -hmm. want to, nobody mess up the status quo. He's mm -hmm. shaking things up, right? Mm -hmm. It's like that. It's like the Lord came and, and what he's giving him is truth, unadulterated truth. He's not, he's, 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 he's. He's showing the, the Pharisees and Sadducees for the hypocrites they are, right? Right. Like he's he's putting a spotlight on their hypocrisy and all that. And that that's that's why look he says, neither do men put new wine. By the way, that issue of wine to me, man, that that, that has to represent that, that new covenant, right? That truth of the new right, covenant. Right, right. So it's the new covenant versus the old covenant? I got this, I got new covenant versus old covenant here. Right, yeah? right. Either break the bottle. The bottles represent the people. It's like I'm trying to put this truth into this old establishment right. dudes. If, you're, if you have an old it. covenant mindset, you're not going to react yeah. well to the new covenant exactly. when it comes test time, right? Yeah, and he says the bottles perish, right? Right. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. Those people who are pliable and stuff. Right, people they, that got a that got a new covenant they mindset. Got a new covenant mindset, yeah. 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 So I can do more research. I, like I said, probably verse 15, 16, 17 is a little more easy to understand because I think mm -hmm. that was more common knowledge that in that day they they did make those wine. Yeah, but bottles 16 and 17 seem like the same. And yeah. They're kind of like very similar analogies. Yeah, yeah. They're kind of like. Synonymous analogies, kind of, you know. Well, the new cloth did would have to be the the new the covenant. covenant, and the old cloth is the old. The right. old garment would right. be those people so who are. He's kind know. of saying like, don't even try and fix the old garments. Just get just get the new one all together. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That it's funny because I got a, I got a little note here. I got new covenant versus old covenant. Mm -hmm. So evidently, when I when I was checking that out one day. I, it, 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 it dawned on me, that's what he's saying. But I can definitely see, he's talking about the new covenant versus the old, and trying to put the truths of the new covenant into these people who were so, so focused. They, they, they set in their ways, mm -hmm. right? The old way. And I can understand, like, a lot of the seniors I talk to, like, it's almost impossible for them to, to get past they're right, people getting stuck in their they're ways. They're stuck right? in it ways, right? So, so with verse fifteen, he's basically answering their question, kind of, and then then verse he goes on in verse sixteen and seventeen to kind of critique them yeah. and why they're having a problem with 
yeah. any of this stuff. Yeah. So he's, gotcha. he's at, he answered verse fifteen. He answered the question fourteen. Then came to him disciples of John. By the way, you know what? The law and the prophets were until John. Even that's significant, Ryan, because John was he was an Old Testament prophet. You know that he was he was that last of the prophets. What did the Lord say? He says. He said. Uh, No, no. What do you say about John? He says, what did you go out to see, yea? Did you go out to read, shaking the wind? He says, let me tell you what he is. He's a prophet, but more than a prophet, right? Of men, that's what, of men born of women, there's not a greater prophet than John the Baptist. But he that is least in the kingdom is greater than he. Right. John represents that old covenant, you know that? Mm. Malachi says, here, Malachi says, when my messenger shows up, he will ring in the new uh, the Messiah, the new. So you, you know what John is, man. It's kind of like a changing of the guard. It is. He's a changing. So so it's like John represents that old way of doing things, right? right? Now why are and, and and this is why the disciples of John are having this problem because they're focused on the old way. I think so because to Christ me it, it is would, the new way. Yeah, it would seem like that would be the only thing that they're confused about because they're like they're still focused on that old way of doing things. And by the way. Dude, check this out, Ryan. That's even why it even says about Apollos in Acts, it says he only knew up to the baptism of John. I, I'm seeing something with John. He represents like that old covenant, you know that? That old way that God dealt with the people of Israel. He's symbolic of that, you know that? He comes in the spirit of power of Elijah. And who is Elijah? Elijah is one of the prophets of old. I'm thinking John the Baptist represents the law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of heaven is preached. All these references to John have to kind of, he's connecting that old guard, right? Mm -hmm. When you get to John, something new is happening with Jesus. The ministry is now taking a new covenant focus. That's what I'm saying there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can the children of the bride chamber mourn? as long as the bridegroom is with them. Why do we and the Pharisees fast off, but thy disciples fast not? Because it wasn't time for them to fast. Yet. Right, right. They're, they're, they're with the, they're with their, the presence. They're of, with their joy, yeah. right? It's joy. Yeah. But the days will come, so that's the future when he's gone, right? I, I think it just starts all when, it says he's mm -hmm. taken from them. When the, from the time he's taken in the garden and that whole thing, you know, then he goes away for, 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 uh, to send down the Holy Ghost. So, so do you think when, when Jesus says, I am the way, that he's saying in that context, he's, he's talking about the, the new covenant? Because they asked him, they said, he tells them, he says, he says I'm going away, right? Mm -hmm. They said, Lord, where are you going? Show us the way. We're, you know, show us the way you go. He says, "I am the way, right? Mm -hmm. The truth and the life. Mm -hmm. No man coming to the Father but by me." He's, yeah, I could see him saying that. Yeah, he is that new. He's the new way, right? He's mm -hmm. the. He is the way. He's the end of the law and everything for them. Christ is the end of the law. For, yep. That's what it's all pointing well, to. You know what I think? I think John, John's ministry represents the end of the old covenant, right? Mm -hmm. And that the us. Lord Jesus now is ushering in the new covenant. Yep. Which would make sense, Ryan, because his in Matthew, when you first see him, he goes instantly into blessed are the poor. Blessed are the... He starts, for theirs is the kingdom of, of God, right? The Lord Jesus starts to introduce the new covenant to them, right? Mm -hmm. he, he, start, he starts talking about it, yeah. You know, in, in Exodus... Uh... Moses says, uh, Now therefore I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way. It's like the heart of Moses, like, he doesn't really even know it, but he's wanting to see the Lord, you know, the way, the truth. And show the me thy way. Right. right. I am the way. He says, I, I am the way, the truth, and the way. Right. That's what they call them in the Right. The way. way. Yeah. yeah. That's what we saw them run down. Yeah. They, they, when they referred to themselves, because they were like about that way, right? Mm -hmm. 
they, they would call themselves the people of the way, right? Whereas the, the Romans and the other, uh, the, the Romans would call them the Christians, right? Mm -hmm. I, 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 that's Paul's what the we learn from. I mean, like the Paul? No, the, 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 yeah, the, the, the way, outsiders. The way was like the little flock and stuff, no? No, it, the way was associated with Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. So, but when like, so even like, like the Gentiles that Paul was going see, they would say of the way as well? In the body of Christ, yeah. yeah if you, what I'm, I, what I believe there was when, how you would have referred to yourself in that day, as a, as an, if you named the name of Christ, you were of that way. Okay. That's how. That's how it says in the Book of Acts. Where is it in Acts about the way? Uh, about that way. Look up that way. Is it that way? Yeah. I think it's 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 like Acts ten, maybe even later. It's in Acts. Look up that way. It seems there that when they when they referred to themselves mm -hmm. amongst each other, it was of that way, and it the way is the Lord Jesus Christ, right? He is the way. And yeah. it says, speak evil of that way before the multitude." Is that what? What? Where is that at? In Acts nineteen nine. Let me see. Here. But when divers were hardened and believed not, but speak evil of that way before the multitude, he departed from them. Yeah, see how the, see how it says it spake evil of that way. No, no, look at verse look at verse eight, man. So look at verse eight. It says, And he went into the synagogue and spake boldly for the space of three months, disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God, right? So he would he would be talking about the Lord Jesus' kingdom. But when divers were hardened and believed not, but spake evil of that way. That's an interesting way of saying. It. He didn't say of the message. He said just that way. And then if you go down to verse twenty-three. Ah, yeah, that's, that's good. And at the same time there arose no small stir about that way. You see that term that way? Mm -hmm. It seems to be associated with the message of Jesus Christ, the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whether it be heaven or earth. Yeah. And I, and I think, I actually think it's probably awful when he says, I am the way. Yeah. The way, yeah. I think if, if you would have asked these believers, and, I, and, and that was a unique time there, you actually had Little Flock, right? You had mm -hmm. Little Flock, the Believer Remnant, and then you had the Body of Christ. They probably referred to themselves uh, that way, the way. The way. Like, that would have been cold to the, each other. That, are you of that way? And they say, oh, yeah. That would be cold that you're a believer in the Lord Jesus. That that someone outside wouldn't even probably even figure, yeah. You get, like, the family of God, like Paul says, mm -hmm. kind of a blanket statement for both of them. For both, for both of them. Yeah, he lived in a unique time where he had, there's both. We, we, we obviously live where it's just us, the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. But he lived in a unique time. He would recognize that the little flock, was part of the household of God, you know, the family of God, yeah. Mm -hmm. There might even be other verses, they're not coming to mind now, but that way, or, yeah, if you, can you look up, look up that way, is those the only two references, right? 24, 22, it says, and when Felix heard these things, having more perfect knowledge of that way, he deferred them and said, 24 what now? 22. And, and, and guess what? This is Paul explaining to him. Or excuse me. This is them explaining the, these believers, right? Watch mm -hmm. this. Verse 21. Except it be for this one voice that I cried standing among them, touching the, okay, touching the resurrection of the dead, I am called. So this is Paul, right? Check this out, dear. Paul is before this council, right? Mm -hmm. He's explaining about Jesus Christ and his resurrection and, and his ministry, his message. 22, and when Felix heard these things, having more perfect knowledge of that way. You see, this is our third time where it's called, associated with that kingdom of, of Christ, that way, that way. That's why I, that's why I think it's, it, that's probably a good way that they described it in that day, that way. And it could be all for the Lord saying, I am the way, right? And also, this is Luke's account 
Yeah. Right, so this is Luke speaking as opposed to a quote of Felix. So Felix isn't calling it that way. He might call yeah, exactly. them Christians. Right. Like the this is, that's a good point. That's, a, that's Luke's account, right? Mm. Right, this is not Felix talking. This is Luke writing down. The, the, he, he's capturing it for us, right? Right. But, but that Felix is not calling it that way. Right. Felix, more than Felix, Felix this guy Felix would have called him, he would have called him Christians. Right. Yeah. With the Antioch and exactly. and stuff. But I, 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 I bet they went by that way, man. That way. Are you of the way? Are you of that way? Because yep. this, this is the third time in reference to Paul speaking about it mm. that it's referred to that way. And yeah. I'm telling you. It's he, interesting that the connection with that, like that prophet and stuff like that, the way they would use the word that. That prophet, yeah. yeah. That way. That means a distinct, it's, it's, it's a particular one, right? Mm -hmm. That way. Check this out, dear. When you say, where's the thing at, what, that one right there? That particular mm -hmm. one, right? Mm -hmm. They're saying it's a particular way. And I'm telling you, it, that that's what the Lord referred to Himself. I am the way, right? Mm -hmm. And that's probably how they referred to Him as the Even way. In the definite article. By the way, just like when He says, "I am," yeah. which way to go? Right here, I'm the way. Mm -hmm. In every situation, He's the way, right? Lord, what do I do? I'm the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how are we gonna get this done? I'm the way. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. But I start seeing that, and, and I'm not sure if it's in any other book outside of Acts. Do you see anything like that way outside of Acts? Not, and, and not, not in that context. It's more about like where he was to pass that way and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. so I, I think that was probably a, a, a way that they described... The three they were times, also called the all secular, three times in Acts. The all three times? Yeah. Interesting. Um, another way that another way that the the, 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 the little flock and um, the body of Christ was were referred to by the by the uh, unbelievers was called the sect of the Nazarenes mm -hmm. because that they associated with Jesus of Nazareth right mm -hmm. yeah it's another way they would do it the sect of the Nazareth and I think I think Jews here, let me say this. I think Jews called them the sect of the Nazarenes, and those Gentiles, the Romans called them Christians. Look at, look at, look at Acts 24, verse 5. This guy is a Jew speaking. Now, why, why would a, why would the Jews call them a sect of the Nazarenes? Because they're specifically saying Jesus of Nazareth is the one causing this problem, right? And they're of him. Watch this. Look at verse 5, 24, 5. For we have found this man, speaking of Paul, a pestilent fellow, and a mover of the sedition among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes, right? Mm -hmm. Who also have gone about to profane the temple and so forth. So I, here, here's, my, here's my, my thinking. Amongst lost Jews, in order to kind of stick it to Jesus of Nazareth, they call these people the sect of the Nazarenes. Like, they're the sects, they're with that Nazarene. Jesus, where Romans weren't that specific, right? They, they just said, hey, this, they, they claim to have a Messiah, the Christ. So they would just call them Christians. You see the difference? I think amongst the Roman Empire, outside of, so the Jews would call them sect of the Nazarene, the Romans would call them Christians. I stumbled upon a, a video that was kind of talking about the development of the word Christian, and mm -hmm. he, the guy pointed out an interesting connection between the word Cretan and Cretanism with Christian. Oh, Cretan. Okay. Cretan means stupid, obtuse, or mentally defective person. Yeah, Cretan wasn't a good word in that yeah. in that culture. And it says cre Christians. Cre yeah, cre Christians. Christian human being, literally Christian, hence one who is human despite deformities. And let's see, it says, uh, from, from Cretan, from Latin, Christianus, Christian. So there's a connection between Cretanism and see, the word Christian. That, so that gives, that gives even more. That, that it was a derogatory term. So it's kind of like Paul, 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 Titus, Cretans, Cretans. Mm -hmm. You know how to spell Cretans? Paul says the Cretans, right? Mm -hmm. C R. E T I A N. It has the same suffix. Mm -hmm. Christians. 
Christians, right? And Christians, yeah. And what from what he read that 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 shows even more that it was it wasn't a good term, it was a derogatory. It was it was a it, it was, was like the N word where now black guys want to call each other the N word. They just sort of embraced it. Wow. Well, so Christians that's what embraced this term. Not term. during Paul's day, I don't think. But today, well, yeah, no, I'm saying like the. Oh, uh, she's just saying the principle. Yeah. yeah. Today it seems like, but I think. So like I, in a hundred years, people might not even realize. I don't the, think I don't know though because that that's not a really good comparison because I think Christians don't realize that it's a, ever was a derogatory right, thing. They right. think it was always a good thing. Yeah, in that way, that's true because mm. you, those the rappers and anybody who use it in the hood. We at least know that yes, well, there's like two thousand years the from now, they might all just be calling themselves that and not realize where yeah, it came most, from. Well, yeah, two thousand. Yeah. <laughs> but I can tell like, you, like we're so far so removed from that time that Christians don't even realize. I'd like to find out when the when the line in the sand was where people used that word and didn't think that it was a derogatory and had no memory that it was ever. A derogatory well, see, that's the key, Ryan, because y y I'm sure there was a few generations. After Paul, where they and I wonder if anybody ever did like kind of like I've heard people say they, they wore they wore the, the insult as a badge of honor. Well, you say so. I don't know if that's true or not. Yes, yeah, or maybe they were just tricked well, from that's the get go. What I'm trying to say with the N word, like okay, now you guys embrace it. Only we have so much. Like if we didn't have the CDs and the this and the that, where then generations later, you might all just be like, oh yeah, we're not realizing that where that word actually came from was like a. Direct I could get term. to that point. You know, the only difference is right. Now in this, in this day, the same rappers who use it, the same brothers who do it, they know that, because they'll say it like this, we can say it, white people can't that's say it to us. because it's not that far, it's not, right. hasn't been that far. Right. So I'm saying like, well, that's his so point. When did, when did it get when to did the point happen? Where or did it, it ever? Went from, or that's just speculation too, right. that yeah. they were using it in a, in a way of saying like, we didn't like this initially, but now we're taking it and reclaiming it for yeah. ourselves. That's a speculation that that's what how this started with people that followed Christ started calling calling themselves that, but we don't know if that's the case. No, we don't, we don't, we don't know. know. Maybe from the get-go they were deceived into thinking that it was a good thing. Yeah. You know, maybe they never ever did that. Yeah. They never said, well, we'll just take it and use it for our own. Maybe that never happened. And we I, don't know, know. I, I doubt that happened like, like that. It'd be weird, you know. That would know. be pretty weird. You, why would you, yeah. That would be weird, yeah. That would be weird. For, and, and for a bunch of, of Believers in the Lord Jesus Christ who seek truth and life. Yeah, I don't, I don't, because I don't see them having a problem with 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 with, with suffering. You know, being called. I don't think being called that derogatory no. name mm -hmm. even bothered them. You know what I mean? Well, and again, the connection between suffer as a Christian, suffer as an evil doer. I don't think Paul was going around being like, "Hey, I'm Paul. I'm an evil doer." You know? Right. Right. <laughs> Exactly. He, in, any more than Peter was like, hey, I'm Peter, I'm a Christian. I don't think that... No, 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 exactly. They weren't both, no, they weren't both. No. Yeah. They were just stating the facts. Right. It was yeah, like, right. This, this is, is the what, truth. This, this is, is what, we're, what we're erroneously being called. Right. Evildoer, Christian. Right. Because Paul says, I suffer trouble as an evildoer. Right. right. And Peter says, suffer, if you suffer yeah, Paul, as Paul, a Christian, doesn't no, suffer Paul being. wasn't doing evil and no. he wasn't proud no. about it. He didn't say for he's, being an evildoer, didn't yeah, say he's for saying, being a Christian. He's saying, they call me an evildoer. Right. And Peter's saying, they call yeah, us Christians. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the other. And from other, that thing with the Christians, that, that's even yeah, more. Every it's, time you yeah. see the word Christian, the three times it's used, it's other people calling. That is true. Yeah. It is other people. Yeah. So we don't have really any biblical evidence that. Anybody would ever call themselves that? That was, I actually, I actually could see Christ more that they probably called call themselves of, of the way, mm -hmm. or that way. Yeah. yeah, because in every sense, Paul is talking mm -hmm. about he's talking about the kingdom, and when he talks about the kingdom of God, it's it's called that way. Why, what else would they call? You know what I mean? Well, and again, you, you you pointed out that we're looking at a time when the both. Correct. Agencies, right. Right. well, the little flock and the body of Christ They're were in effect. That's yeah, a unique time. So we don't have any kind of, we can't really relate to it like you were saying earlier. Now we just have members of the body of Christ well, and sure, little flock sure. members. Yeah. And, and this is written from a Jewish Right, it's, exactly. And we can speculate what historically people were saying, but again, it's just speculation, who knows. Do a research on that. I I I, I bet I I, I, mean, I, would, I do a little I bit. Bet. There's there's not that much to go on though, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
because this I've history, is, history is written by the way. winners, yeah. <laughs> the conquerors, and, and and people that like Brian Ross showed him as a tale of two churches. It's very difficult to get any information about people that were actually believing the truth. Do you think? And this would in, be an in, early in the context on, of that way. Mm -hmm. Is it positive or negative? You think there? What to that way? To refer to somebody yeah. as that way? Yeah. Uh, I don't see so far. I don't see any problem with it. It seems more like we have evidence of Luke using it, and I'm, I'm just saying mm -hmm. it could it could be off. I mean, because we we do know that the Lord says, "I am the way." Right, right. right. That's a that's a weird. There's thing no evidence for negative there. connotation like there yeah, is that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah. yeah. So if so if in that time they did refer to him of of that way, right? Mm -hmm. Well, of the the way, it seems like they would know amongst each other that that's referring to the Lord, right? right. The, the, the way. Yeah. That, I, that, would, that would seem cool mm -hmm. to be, are you of that way? Right. And they said, what? what do you mean, what way? The way. And like you said, it's kind of like a, a bit, kind of like you of that way. So it's like, you, you know, you could kind of do that without worrying too much about persecution. Because exactly. Because if somebody was of that way, they know what you're talking about. Right. right? Yeah. Right. Like, you'd be like, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's good. Yeah. yeah, some of those, some of those things he talks about in the in the gospel, a lot. Of, well, not, a lot of it is just like the Jewish custom of the time. You know what I mean? And and that's where the value of some of these guys who do all this research and that. The problem is they get they research all. They can tell you the history of all that custom, right? But then they miss the entirety of the mystery. Right. They yeah. spend their time searching out Jewish sources. Oh, the bridegroom would do. You can get a guy, he'd sit there 15 minutes and tell you about the bridegroom and the bride chamber and why they mourn. And they'd be like, ooh, wow. The guy won't tell you a lick about the mystery. Yeah. So I could spend time searching all that stuff out. And you, we'll get some benefit. But really, a lot of that stuff is just those Jewish customs of his day, mm -hmm. you know, that he didn't have to explain to them. They'd be like, oh, yeah, the bride chamber. Yeah, okay, I got that. That we don't, we don't do. You know? It's not something that's going to be crucial at the judgment no. seat of Christ. Yeah. So, yeah. but I'm, he ain't gonna just, say, "Well, Ryan, you guys right. didn't know what the bride chamber was." Right, right. right. It's like, I just, Lord, you had us in a disposition. I was just interested in understanding the, those analogies. Uh, no, those are some. Those are some weird. Ones. The, the last two are really, well. The last one was really easy. Yeah. Help you understand the other one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That was a key to kind of help understand. The well, other what one. we do get is that the old guard wanted to keep things the status quo the old way. The Lord Jesus shows up. He gives them the way, right? The mm -hmm. new way the, yeah. of the new covenant, yeah. and they don't want it. They don't want mm -hmm. no parts of it. He's like, you guys got to shed that old garment, yeah. put on a new one, because they're, it's not the, they're be the old establishment, right? So they're in there. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's a lot of parallels, man, in the you know, political politics. Because any anytime a new candidate wants to shake things up, the establishment said, nope, 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 uh, -uh can't do it. That was them. They were like the original the religious establishment, right? Here come the Lord Jesus. He's not doing things the way they said. This is how we do things around here. Mm -hmm. He knows, no, no, no. I'm going to do it the way of the truth. Right. They had gotten so far from the actual truth of God's word. By the way, he did it exactly how God and Moses said it. The Lord did it. Yeah. And they got mad at him. <laughs> they said, no, no, no. Don't come messing up our thing. They were short-sighted. They short yeah, they were short-sighted. They weren't looking for the embryo, okay, this guy actually could be good for us, right? Mm -hmm. This no. guy's actually the fulfillment of all the stuff we've been doing. They, 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 Ryan, they just wanted their play. They wanted to, they wanted their gravy train, man. They didn't mm -hmm. want nothing to shake up what they were doing, all right? Leave us alone. We're comfortable here. Don't bring this new stuff to us, right? Mm -hmm. we, we dealt with that. Look at the joint air stuff, right? The status quo is, okay, here's what Grace School of the Bible says. If they don't sanction that, it can't be true. <laughs> yep. Well, what about the verses? Well, uh, no, it's not like those. Yeah, exactly. Same thing. On that small scale, that's what we were dealing mm -hmm. with. They're like the old guard, and here we, we, we something that's actually was already there, right? If mm -hmm. they were, and we, we, we shine a spotlight on it. Right, right. By the way, both of them have to do with inheritance, too. Mm hmm Israel's inheritance and our joint inheritance in, in reigning. And, and, the, and the status quo, guys, the establishment, they go, no, 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 leave us alone with all that. Yeah. It's a lot of parallels there, man. Yeah. Which is bizarre because it could have eas easily gone. It didn't have to do that because, I mean, we have Jordan on record 
saying stuff about Second Timothy two twelve that's completely Dude, exactly what you, we're saying. You October. probably had some of these Pharisees in the synagogue saying, you know, everyone uh, probably saying exactly what the scripture says, right? Like right. the, the, the first example, like, like the Messiah is going to come from 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 Bethlehem, Judea, and he will live in Nazareth, right? Right. right. And here's Jesus from Bethlehem. So here I am. And and they're like, yeah, forget that stuff I said. Yeah, 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 no. <laughs> did, oh, did I did I say Bethlehem and then uh, Nazareth? Oh, man. What they call, hold on. He will come from Bethlehem and Nazareth. Hey, where did Jesus come from? He was born in Bethlehem. He lived in Nazareth. Oh, well, you know what I mean was, uh, yeah, no, don't. Uh, just pretend disregard. I didn't say that last yeah, just year. Disregard this. But, but then. <laughs> First century A.D. Ryan comes, not with a video, but hey, uh, Rabbi, I wrote the notes down here. You said, you said, ah, uh, oh, no, no, I didn't get mad at you. You wrote his note down. Right, right, right. Here's your notes. Uh, here's some notes of what you said. I was sitting right there. Why did you copy that? I know. Why did you copy that? That's great. But I mean, it's the same old stuff, man. They get settled in their ways, the establishment. Then somebody come with the truth. Boom, boom, boom. Oh no, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny, man. We got to do it this way. Well, good. Yeah, that's what the word said. But he's the one who's saying, oh, we can't listen to him. I'm telling you, man, it's the same cycle, man. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. 